Hello and welcome to Let's Play Crossing White Global Part 98. Alright, so this is actually a bad start. Three uh, frontline attack units. I think I'll go with Rintaro and Enju as support. Uh, but yeah, then I'll go with Arsenal, she's overpowered, uh, and choose her support, she has highest base attack for a support unit, and she has pretty good speed too. And finally I'll choose this guy, and Yukina as support. Uh, should we keep her in the middle? Sure, we'll keep her in the middle. Alright, we got a match. Risers. Alright, the game is starting. So, let me tell you about Crossing White Global. So, it's basically a catcher game. Uh, which means it's kind of like... Uh, who uh, use that one? It's kind of like uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, where you use currency to uh, gain units or purchase units. Uh, but it's free to play, so you don't have to pay any real life money, but you can if you will. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, turn-based, kind of like Dark's Dungeon. Uh, speaking of Dark's Dungeon, uh, what should I do after after uh, episode one hundred? I could keep playing Crossing White Global, or I could. Uh, or I could uh, play Dark's Dungeon, of course, because that was the thing we were talking about. I could play Dark's Dungeon the Bur Butcher's Circus instead of this. Also, she's dead. Uh, I was also thinking. I could let's play uh, another game and it'll be with commentary like this uh, da, da, da. let's just go for some damage and I actually think Kujo can survive so I'll just do this um, yeah, I was thinking about let's play a game called Love Esquire, and it's a uh, 18 plus game, so there's something you know unique about that. But yeah, well, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. This should finish the game. And if not, we can always attack with Rentaro. Was it Rentaro? I can't remember. Okay, it finished the game. Uh, but yeah, I'm recording this on Monday. As well as the episode I'm gonna put out on Wednesday. And then, episode 100, I'll record it on Wednesday, which means I can hear your feedback and then apply it to episode 100. Because, you know, I want episode 100 to be special, you know. Hey, 
Anyway, uh, let's see. This is a kind of a tough matchup. Uh, to go for the damage or to not go for the damage. But yeah, Arco, uh, this one, she's really strong. Because he uh, gives a passive ability that reduces damage taken. And that's really powerful. Because basically this Burstling uh, game format, it's mostly about who gets the first climax, usually. But there's definitely a lot of depth in strategy in it. Uh, yeah, might as well go for the damage. And she can also, yeah, defend, as you can see. Now, my opponent could have used 12. Yeah, they did. No, wait, they didn't. Rintaro, he's gonna tank that pretty well. Sort of. He's gonna be... Almost surviving, yeah. If I don't get sealed with her, yeah, so I'll do this so she doesn't get sealed. Then I can pierce the defense. Oh, yeah, Arco might be able to uh, heal and remove the seal. That would be bad. Do they have 16? No, they didn't. Interesting. So I think the game is over. Ish. Oh no! Ah, but it, no, I don't have enough skill points to seal her, which was my plan. Because once it's Arco left, she's not going to be able to take down Kucho. Yeah. And I can just... I can actually just heal to be an asshole, <laughs> just to make sure that she lives. Uh, Asuna. But yeah, this game you can get uh, all your favorite anime characters, sort of. So I highly recommend it. You know, there's a lot of depth in these uh, this format, if you ask me. Because, you know, things that might, it might seem luck based, you know, whoever has the high speed stat or whoever gets the better character wins. But usually you can do something to win the game. Oh yeah, we are fighting against the same person, which is not fun for my opponent. But maybe they are able to turn the tables and, you know, because it is a strategy game. Uh, it has happened uh, quite a lot, actually. I play and then I get destroyed by the second time we play against the same opponent. But yeah, I got four likes on episode 96. So that must mean you guys really wanted to hear me talk. So hopefully I'll uh, live up to your expe expectations here. Uh, but it's okay if I don't. I feel like, because you know, we're human. We're all human. And we all make mistakes. Maybe speaking isn't just a thing for me. That's actually something I'm trying to get better at. You know, because uh, I'm shy when speaking in front of a crowd. So I wanted to practice by simply talking to a microphone, basically. Anyway, should we go for the seal this time? I think we should. Although they might have the... Actually... They didn't guard. This is bad. I think we should ult. Or climax skill as they're called. Yeah, I didn't pay attention. 
because <laughs> I'm looking at the the microphone when I'm talking, so I'm not really paying attention as much as much as I should. But yeah, this could be the end, depending on what happens. Okay, I don't think that was the correct lane. I think the correct lane would have been to ult with uh, the character they are using right now. Can't remember her name right now. Anyway, let's go with this. Get some damage off. I think that will benefit us. And... Let's go with this one. This skill, yes. Would a super shield be worth it? I think so. I think so, yes. This is a tough one, actually. Depending on what happens. Okay, they're gonna go for the knockout. Perfectly reasonable play. I think I'm gonna try and get the nug out on Arco. Yep, I'll get her. Then it's a 1v1. One one. Ooh, this could go always. I could lose since I don't have my climax skill. But I think I can deal enough damage. Yeah, I can. It says I get the revival. There's nothing my opponent can do. That's what makes uh, Kujio a strong character. But it was close. So, there's that. Can I get a... Nope, I didn't get a... Emoji? I guess we call them. In an emote. Yeah, an emote. Anyway, next game. Oh wow, this is awful. Going against the same person three times in a row. Let's hope they win this one. That would be great, you know? Um, but yeah, I could also do post-commentary. You know, instead of doing a live recording of me speaking of what is going on. Uh, but yeah, just let me know uh, what, what you would uh, rather watch. I feel as though that would be for the best. Because then we can make episode 100 really good. You know? Da, da, da. Let's try and pay attention this time, actually. Okay, so they're using the 6 cut skill. Interesting. So that must mean 6 skill points used. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for this one. Counting how many skill points your opponent has used can be really useful. I feel like. But yeah, no more episodes with uh, music. Sad face, perhaps. Don't know if this is better. Because, you know, it's not of his I'm talking all the time. Okay, so they went for. Ooh, that is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Okay, let's go for the seal. And let's actually not use the climax skill this time. Because I can just do this. I feel that that's a better play. Feel a little bit bad for my opponent though. A little bit, you know. Uh, I'll take the f the wins, you know. But yeah, there's no hope for my opponent at this point. I'm just gonna go for this. Stone Steady wins the race. Let's just go for that because it deals with extra damage to the front unit. Most AOE skills does. 
And yeah, in case you haven't noticed, my strategy is basically to build an AoE damage team. I usually paint one tank and one damage deal. I mean two damage dealers. But yeah. Oh, they quit. Uh, I don't blame them for quitting. At all. I will uh, quit too. I think we have played against this person before. Not against this team, but against this person before in this same episode. And this might also be our last match. Anyway, it looks like they're going triple damage dealers. Which is very interesting. Oh, so they're going for a front damage team. Very interesting. I tried that once, which could have worked if I actually used my heal skills. Pretty sad that I didn't. But yeah, this could go in all kinds of directions. Let's see. We should deal more damage. So my poor buddy Rintaro might die here. Oh, he did. Is she ne next? Asuna? Oh, it's Kojo next. Okay, okay. I think I'm just gonna go for some damage and then use Kojo's climax skill. Yeah, that's gonna hurt for my opponent. The explosion! It's like, okay, Megamine. <laughs> and yeah, that's game over.